Hey, welcome to Learning Photoshop Quick Tip 2. Another video in my series of Photoshop Quick Tips. Now I saw this creative effect posted in an online group recently and I thought it really caught my eye as a possible project for one of my classes. I was so caught up with it that I decided to make an action to speed up the process so I wasn't having to, to do it over and over again. So in this video I'm going to go step by step through the effect and also at the same time how we can make an action so that we don't have to keep doing it over and over again. Okay, let's get started. First, let's get the actions panel open. Well, I've got mine here tagged on the side. If you haven't got it open, then if you go to window and click actions, then your actions panel will come to the front. Now you can see I've got quite a lot of actions in here and I've actually got one that I've already made which is this one at the bottom called KF12 Core FX Action and that's got some stops in it with some instructions. Um, if you wanted that then if you let me know I can let you have that action as well but we'll just be creating the basic one today. Now if you make an action then it needs an action set for it to live in like a folder like this. So the first thing we're going to do is create an action set so I'm going to click on this that little folder and I'll just type in twirl because it's based on the twirl filter really and I'll click OK. So now I've got a little folder to put things in. So now I'm going to create an action and what I'm going to do when I click this button, what you've got to do then is be quite careful because Photoshop is then watching every move you make and it's recording anything major you do. So if you make a mistake, you might have to go back and start again. So here we go. So I'm going to click on that to create a new action. I'll call it the twirl action. Oops, not twerk. We'll call it twirl. <laughs> and it already knows that I want to put it in the twirl set. Um, we can try it on a function key. I'll give it the, well, I, let's say the F9 key. You can try it on your keys. It depends what your keys are set to. Um, I'm not bothered giving it a color and I'll click record and you'll see now that this little button's gone red and that means it's recording everything I do. So let's go through this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to get a filter. So we're going to go to filter and we go down to pixelate and we're going to go down to mesotint. Now that'll bring up this dialogue and for the type, we want to set it to medium lines. It looks a bit weird, but this is what we need. And we click OK. Now we're going to apply a blur, but we're going to apply a radial blur. So we're going to go up to the filter menu, down to blur, and we're going to go to radial blur. Just drag that in so you can see it. And we're going to rack the amount right up to 100. We're going to have the blur method being zoom and we're going to have a quality being best. And then we'll click OK. And that gives us a, a nice little effect now, like a little bit of a light tunnel. Now I want to repeat this four or five times to compound the effect a little bit. So rather than having to keep going back into the into the blur and do it again and again and again, if you look at the top of the filter menu, you'll see that this thing you can you can do it with the keyboard shortcut control and F but the radial blur exactly those settings is set on the top and it's basically the last filter that you run so if you want exactly the same filter over and over again like we do we can use that so what I'll do is I'm going to press control and F say let's say four or five times so I'll do it once I'll do it twice I'll do it three oh, let's do it four times until I get an effect that I think looks pretty cool. And you can see Photoshop watching here. You can see it's recording every step that I've took so far. Okay, next step, we want to duplicate the background layer. So we're going over to the layers panel. I'm just going to right click, duplicate layer, and then click OK. Doesn't matter what they call it. And I'll click to make sure that the top layer is active. And now we're going to run the twirl filter. So I'm going to go over to filter and down to distort and down to twirl. And now I'm going to put in a figure of say you can put in what you like and you can this is the area where you can get creative. 
I'm going to put say 80 degrees in there. I'm going to click OK. And then go onto the background layer and click to make sure the background layer is active. And I'm going to run the, the filter again, but I don't want to use this one at the top because that'll put plus 80 in. What I need to do is to run the actual filter again. So I'm going to go to distort and to twirl. But this time and it usually works pretty good if you put exactly the opposite in. So I'm going to put minus 80 in this time. And I'm going to click OK. Now I need to use blending, so I'm going to use a blend mode. But what I need now is for the top layer to be active because I want to blend that with the bottom layer. So I'm going to pick the screen blend mode. And there we go. And then I'll flatten it all down. So I'll go to the little flyout menu in the layers panel and I'll choose merge down. That flattens it all back down to one layer. And now that's it. So I can go over to my actions panel now and I can click the stop button, which is this one, which is stop playing or recording. And now if we look in the actions panel here, we can see the twirl action. If I just twirl it open, pun intended, and you can see this is all the steps that we've built up in making that action. Okay, let's give it a go. So we've got another image in here and you can try it out on lots of different images. We'll try it out on this image. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on the twirl action. And then I'm going to click on the play selection or play action and just watch it do its stuff. Ooh. Oh, I think that's quite cool. I quite like that one. So that's it. How to make a creative background effect using filters and a blend mode. And how to make the action to automate the process for you. How cool is that? Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit my website, kenfisherphotography.com for more free Photoshop and Lightroom videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.